this is my latest uh, vehicle predicament. The gas struts have decided to call it quits. They have decided to give up. They said the burden is too heavy and I am too weak. And then I'll do an iced triple espresso with three pumps of white mocha stirred in a grande cup. All right. And something more for you? Uh, that's going to be it. And a good name for the order? Jason. If everything looks good on your screen, we will see you up here. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. I'm going on a ferry. Originally, I was planning on going down to Rainier and then looping up to the Cascades, but I figured that would have been a waste of gas because I would have had to do that and then go back down south again. So it didn't make sense. So I'm going over to the Cascades and there's supposedly a fire going on over there. Good thing is I'm not going that far east, so it shouldn't be an issue, but you never know. I just stopped by a Subaru parts store and to try and get replacement struts and them shits were $108. $108 a piece. So I said, absolutely not. We're not. <laughs> and I went straight to Amazon because $108 for some gas struts. $108! sketchiest road to this campsite behind me however it is all tent sites so that's a bummer um i don't know if i'm going to stay because it took a lot <laughs> to get up here i'm not gonna lie i got almost got stuck once but i don't know i don't know I have to decide and I hate making these decisions like I'm I'm completely torn I don't know I don't know I don't know I'll decide and then I'll let you guys know sup so I decided to leave and that was kind of a mistake because I left a beautiful area for a pull off on the side of the road. However, mountains behind me are pretty. Um, spot I was gonna go to was taken, 
which of course with my luck but you live and you learn you know i am in the mount baker area there's a couple of spots i want to check out tomorrow or the following day whenever i have the energy to but yeah i haven't been back here in a while so this is kind of exciting well here's a new development my water jug sprung a leak right there oh god this is turning out to be a bad start of this week i hope this works i hope this duct tape thing works Blech. good morning i the wrong time to come up to the cascades it is going to be or i looked at the weather and it is going to be overcast pretty much until friday and i'm not even going to be here for that long so the clouds makes me not want to do anything but we're gonna do we're gonna do something we're gonna go do something i think i don't want to hike we're just gonna drive up to mount baker there's like little spots to check out and short hikes slash walks. And I'm going to do that instead. Oh, the uh, duct tape to fix the leak in my water jug didn't really work. Which, I mean, I don't know why I thought it would. Duct tape isn't exactly a sealant and I don't have sealant. So I put in the Gorilla Glue thing that I have along with the duct tape and it seems to have worked temporarily. I have to get a new water jug. Kind of wish it happened while I was in town and not while I'm out here. Anyways, we're gonna go.
This place is so beautiful, but there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna go and try to find a river to hang out at. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. The sun's coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna go find a river to hang out with. Hang out with, hang out at, hopefully. I got nothing else. I got nothing else. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in a bit. This is dangerous. <laughs> I've hit my head a couple of times before, so it's kind of sketchy. But anyways, found a river spot. I'm hungry, so we're gonna make food. I have to use up these eggs because they might go bad if I don't. So we're just going to make a wrap, a breakfast wrap. Bacon and sauce. Sup. Something really strange just happened. So, I was in the middle of cooking, and this group of four folks showed up, and I think they wanted, actually, I know, like, they wanted to camp at <laughs> where I was at. So usually, and let me ask you a question. If you drive up to a campsite, and you see somebody there, what do you do? You leave. Immediately leave, right? Cause you're gonna just assume somebody's there that that person or those people are gonna camp but no they didn't stop or they didn't leave they lingered and then one of the dudes like walked across the campsite and then he came back and he was like are you setting up i was like uh this is my fuck up i was like no <laughs> um and then my dumb ass said don't worry i'm not gonna stay here for I'm not gonna stay here, I'm not gonna camp here. Obviously, they took that and was like, then do you mind if we set up our tents? And I was like, uh, no. No, I don't mind, yeah, go ahead. But in my head, I was like, I minded. I was like, I need you guys to leave. So anyways, they started setting up their tents and the girl was like, you know you can stay here tonight too, we can all share. I was like, mm, stranger danger, no thank you. But yeah, I didn't even get a chance to go in the water or eat my lunch by the water or anything like that. Because one of the, or two of the folks, I think they were a couple, they decided to set up their tent right next to the water. And I was like, well, this is awkward. So I ate and then I left. And now I'm back on where I was last night on the side of the road. And there are these big ass flies, I think. Oh God. And they're trying, like, trying to get in my car. They just want to fucking kill me. Oh god. I'll catch you guys later.
morning. It is a very misty morning. I was going to go on a hike today, but I don't think that's going to pan out. It's supposed to storm later this afternoon, so I'm going to go into town, take a shower, and then replace my water jug. And I'm not exactly sure where to go after that, so stay tuned. I decided to work out as well because why the hell not? I am annoyed. So I went to Walmart and I did find the little water dispenser that I was looking for. It's not electric, it's just a little hand pump. However, it only fits one kind of water bottle and that's the Primo uh, water jugs. And Walmart did not have those but it was right next to the American-made water jugs, which begs the question, why? Why do you have water jugs that isn't compatible with the Primo pump? So now, sorry for the rattling. I have no idea what's back there that's causing the rattling, but now I'm on the hunt for some Primo water jugs because the water jugs I currently have is not gonna work. So yeah. That's me complaining for like two seconds. Okay, bye. Well, that was a fruitless attempt. I did find the water jugs at Lowe's. However, there were the five gallon ones and that was just not gonna fit where I keep my water. So it's fine, I'm gonna make it work. The pump is a manual pump, so it doesn't need to be screwed on tight for it to work, but yeah. What a string of bad luck. Anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.